everybody, welcome outcast and other viewers and welcome back to yet another video. Hello, I'm the turtle and I'm back, slightly. I'm gonna try to be back a bit more. Happy New Year's and hopefully you had a good Christmas. Anyways, today we're gonna be looking at Battlefront and Battlefront 2 and some of the differences that I've noticed and some things I wish that would change. I mean, the two games are pretty different and in Battlefront 1 I feel like everything was much simpler. Everything was a lot less. In the meaning that I say a lot less, when you're playing the game, nothing was stuffed in your face. You didn't get the chat up in your eyeball, you didn't get like the kill fit inside of your nose you didn't get all the abilities you had in the absolute mess of your face and you didn't get to see everything that you could do either. In Battlefront 1 it was very simple, I liked the hunt, everything was a bit, it was almost like watching a cinematic of a Star Wars thing all the time. Now when you think about that, that was pretty awesome. And when you look at Battlefront 2 it's a bit too messy, it's a bit too quote unquote pro gamers, you know what I mean? For me it's too much HUD. And the graphics are a bit, they're good, but they don't feel as good as the previous one. And I think the reason why that is is because in Battlefront 2 there's way much more stuff on the screen than in Battlefront 1. And some of the effects as well seems a bit better in Battlefront 1. And also, one big thing that makes the two games so different is that in my opinion, Battlefront 1, the first one in 2015, actually had a lot better map designs than Battlefront 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 had a lot of weird map designs where ever, either the map starts with a long range, short range, interior, exterior, it was never a mixture. Battlefront 1, for example, Hoth, great example of this, had an open area on the outside and you also had an inner bunker area. The beginning started with an assault that felt like an assault because the Imperials were moving across this vast open field and then they had to breach in and when they got in it was either outside or indoor battles. Also one thing that ruined Battlefront 2 for me and I don't know about you but the AI was not present on the ground battles and the reason why I mention this is because in some intros on some missions, even the mission that I did in this video here, you can see that the landing ships are landing and it deploys troops. Those troops are not players, they're AI and when they deploy they just stand there looking pretty like oh my god look at this the shine's gonna make my helmet tan. When you look at Battlefront 1 the intro was a little bit more intuitive for the players or not intuitive it was more how do you say immersive for the players because when it zoomed in you saw all the players spawn in and it was the army that was gonna push forwards but in Battlefront 2 you're already on the ground and you see other AI land in but they're not gonna do anything they're just gonna stand there and look at you and wait for you to do something and win the war. So in my own thoughts and opinions I would like to say that you know maybe what I would want future in the next Battlefront game and I really hope they make a new one. I've seen a lot of Star Wars YouTubers say that, oh, they can just build on Battlefront 2. But in my opinion, Battlefront 2 isn't a good enough base to build on, and the game's reputation is already so tarnished that I don't think a lot of people would come back to it either. Now, in the new game, I would rather want it to be a bit more including with AI, bigger battles, a bit more mix of map, mips, bleh, a bit more of the mixed maps. Not as much as like this is this and this is that. It was more of like Battlefront 1, 2015, indoors, outdoors at the same time. You could choose what kind of battles you wanted to do, so you'd pick the gear for what kind of mission you'd want to do. I also realized that in the game of Battlefront 1, I had a lot more fun. You could actually customize your soldier a bit more, and in the beginning of Battlefront 1, I didn't really like the star cards. I still don't like the star cards, I wish if you had a grenade you only have, let's say, two grenades, you don't have infinite, they don't replenish, bring back the gonker joints to give you ammo and rotties to give you health. Also, I do didn't really like in Battlefront 2 how the gunplay felt, it felt too complicated. I mean, in the bad way of, you know, Star Wars guns shouldn't be complicated, they should be as laser guns, goddammit. And also, when you look at it in Battlefield, blah, 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 Battlefield, Battlefront 1, the gunplay was a lot easier, a lot simpler, you had a lot of guns, every class can use any gun, so you could basically make your own class. I like that in a way, and the reason why I wanted the classes is because I wanted them to have equipment, not star cards. The reason why I want equipment instead of star cards is because, well, star cards regenerate, and you don't want infinite grenades. Jetpacks, I can understand, maybe like in the first bat battlefronts, where the jetpack would refuel over time, very slowly. That was pretty cool. Or, if you were the Imperials in the first ever battlefront game, you had a jump trooper that could jump really high and really far forwards, but he didn't, he couldn't really fly. While the clone trooper in Battlefront 1, the first ever battlefront from the game released, he could fly in bursts and hover around, basically. Now, please be sure to tell me in the comments down below what you think, and leave a like on this video if you liked it. Maybe share it with your friends and family, and make them also subscribe and put in their thoughts on what they want in the new Battlefront game. Also, a quick thing to put in, I also want space to ground, goddammit. I want the big battles to fall out, and that would be epic. And also, dice, don't goddamn lock any heroes behind paywalls, or like you have to get credits to buy them. I mean, I get it's cool and stuff, but it's too much. Just, just make it so that you can unlock them with levels instead. That would be more encouraging for people to keep playing the game and, you know, unlock heroes. So let's say the coolest heroes would be at the end and bring back droid guys, goddammit. I have so much to say. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, put that like down below. 
And if you didn't, put the dislike. Put a comment down below what you think. I already said this. <laughs> I'm the turtle, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.